good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. With me in the studio with perfect hair is Dr. Natalie Garcia Bartels. She is a dermatologist and assistant director of the Clinical Research Center for Hair and Skin Sciences at the Charité Hospital here in Berlin. Hello and welcome to the show. Hello, thanks. Speaking about this autohemotherapy, what do you think about this? Is it a sensible approach? Well, it is not a, a con it is not considered as a, a guideline therapy because there are no scientific um, studies and um, research approvals that show that this is a serious therapy. It may help in individuals, but it, it is not considered a standard therapy. So it's nothing you use at the Charité Hospital as a standard therapy then? Definitely not. Yeah. Um, talking about hair loss, how much is normal? When I look at my brush in the morning, I have plenty of hair. Well, uh, we consider normal everything below 100 hairs per day. And uh, if you lose more than 100 days every day, and this over a longer period of time, this is a symptom we consider as serious hair loss, and it has uh, several causes. Mm -hmm. And there's something like genetically hair loss, and this uh, normally hits men and not so many women. Why is that? Well, um, there are a lot of uh, genetic projects actually going on to answer these questions. We don't have the question yet, uh, the answer yet. Mm -hmm. But however, um, uh, also women are considered to have genetic hair loss. And if you go for a therapy, do you have to start the therapy early or can you take your time? Well, definitely you should uh, start the therapy early, but however, you shouldn't diagnose yourself and therapy, um, use the therapy you choose yourself. You should uh, consult a dermatologist to clearly get a diagnosis and to individually treat your disease. And the main drugs in treating those is minoxidil and finasteride. Those are drugs um, that were, were developed for something like prostate uh, hyperplasia. So do they have side effects? Well, uh, these um, drug therapies are mainly developed for genetically um, induced hair loss. And of course, they do have some side effects. But however, every um, doctor will talk with you about the uh, individual uh, risk for side effects. And then you decide whether you uh, take it or not. And, and how high are the success rates in treating hair loss? Well, um, usually um, minoxidil and finasteride have a success rate to stop hair loss about uh, 70 to 80 percent. However, in a part of these um, successfully um, stopped hair loss patients, um, um, they um, profit from regrowing hair. But this is not all of the 70 percent who profit from regrowth of hair. You're a university doctor of the Charité and we got a question from a viewer, Mr. Niemal, and he wants to know, is there something in the pipeline in the future for uh, new developments in treating hair loss? Well, um, around the world, a lot of researchers try to develop new therapies uh, against hair loss and one um, approach is the stem cell therapy. However, we don't have a therapy now which, can we, which we can use in patients. And um, a second um, new molecule could be latanoprost, um, which um, is now in the first step to be investigated if it really helps against hair loss, but so far you can't use it against so hair loss. So there's something in pipeline and we just have to wait. Never wear a hairpiece again. This is great. So is this a typical case? Um, well, this is not the typical case that um, hormones are the most frequent cause uh, in women to cause hair loss. However, it always has to be considered in a women to, uh, as, a, as a cause, especially when they have uh, the um, genetically appearance of hair loss. And, um, but there are many causes for hair loss um, to uh, cause diffuse hair loss. And there are different forms uh, going further than diffuse hair loss. There's something like spot baldness or patchy baldness. And um, this is a, a thing where patients who have typically present with round and completely bald areas at the scalp, you just see it here in the pictures. Scientists now believe that spot baldness is caused by immune system reaction when protective mechanisms begin to win, uh, to view body's own hair follicles as invaders. So what do you know about the, bald, um, uh, about the spot baldness and how do you treat it? 
Well, what we know so far that there are also genetically causes and uh, there is a lot of research going on to um, really uncover the genes who are responsible for patchy hair loss. However, uh, we also know that the immune system can be treated uh, in a way that we suppress the immune system in this um, disease or that we start to um, guide the immune system in a different way. And there are different therapies topically or systemically to be used in this patchy hair loss. When we usually talk about immune things, um, I always think about stress-induced immune deficits. Um, do you think that stress can play a role in patchy hair loss? Well, there are always have been a lot of reports, however, a scientifically proof um, is, has not been published yet that stress really induces patchy hair loss, but uh, we have a lot of patients who report this, so it is really likely that there's an association. Okay, um, let's talk about some special shampoos or hair care products you can just get over the counter uh, or in a pharmacy. Um, are they really helpful in preventing or in treating hair loss? When we talk um, about a scientifically proven effect, I um, just have to answer no, okay. because um, when um, we consider a therapy as effective, we need evidence-based um, therapies, and they are usually scientifically proven. And these over-the-counter therapies you are talking about are usually not scientifically proven. So if they don't help and if the pharmacy doesn't help me, when do I need to see a doctor? Well, definitely in the case of hair loss, you should, uh, you should consult a dermatologist as early as you can because the earlier you treat hair loss, the better your result will be. Thank you so much for being with us in the studio. Thank you. Thank you.